If you use optimized media, proxy media, or render cached media as part of your DaVinci Resolve edit, then I've got some great news for you because by just clicking one button, you can massively increase the speed of your final render times. In fact, in my example here in this video, I went from a render time in the seven minute range down to under one minute. My name is Lee Dalton and this is a film resolved quick tip and if you find this content helpful please do consider giving the video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. But with that out of the way let's jump into it. So in my case I'm utilizing the option for render cached images. So you can see here I have a timeline and for whatever reason I needed to utilize rendered cache real-time playback and you can tell this by this blue line here that it has completed the render cache of these images so I get my nice smooth playback. Now I've finished my edit and it's come time to deliver this edit. I'm going to first set the baseline of not utilizing the technique that this video is about. So I'm going to come to my preset for my YouTube uh, delivery. And if you're interested in these settings, I have a video about that. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll have a card on the screen so you can check that out afterwards. But we'll just go ahead and call this myth one, add to the render queue and hit render all. And we'll set this as the baseline uh, render time. So that is obviously a very long render time for a hundred second long timeline. But that's because it's H.265 footage being rendered to H.265. Every clip is denoised. Every clip has a GPU accelerated effect on there. And every clip also has film grain being added. So that's pretty intense. Hence why we needed to render cache media in the first time for real time playback. But here's the thing, we've already done a lot of that effort of that rendering by doing rendered cache media. So how can we kind of use that to our advantage? Well, if we come into our export settings here and come to advanced settings, there's this button here, use render cached images. And what this will do is use the render cached images and put them towards the final render, which will greatly speed up the render times. And as you can see, there's also an option for proxy media and optimized media. So if you've used any of those, you can take advantage of those too. But in our example, we're just gonna show use render cached images. So with that checked on, I will rename this meh2. And we'll add this to the render queue and render it again and look at the difference in render times. So as you can see, by taking advantage of this technique, we have a render time of seven minutes and 27 seconds cut down to just 53 seconds. Now there is one key thing that you need to keep in mind so that you don't actually diminish your image quality by using this technique. If you come into your project settings and under your master settings, scroll down to your optimized media and render cache options. And again, my example here is for render cache, but this applies to optimized media and proxy media as well. Make sure that whatever codec you choose for your format is greater or equal to your intended delivery codec specs. So that way you're not having a lower quality render cache trying to render out a higher quality final output. So as long as this is equal to or greater in quality of a codec to your final delivery, this technique will speed up your render times and not cause any quality loss. Mm -hmm. 